Well, I'm not sure if I'm here or not, but if it is, this is the first signs of it. Mass piles of rocks. I'm just kind of carry on up this trail. Came most of the way into my pickup. And there's one spot where there's a log on the road, so kind of changed my mind about it. I just walked in the last couple hundred feet. So, I assume this must be it. Is shitty. Oh yeah. Yeah, we have some cave action happening. I'm an above ground type person, so I won't explore none of these little caves, but we'll try and film some of them. Quite the pile over there too, on the hillside, but we'll just finish up here because this over here kind of caught my eye how squared and the edge was, but yeah, apparently we have another cave. Uh, let's go along the top all the way. There's needs forest one minute and Boulder City the next, but I've logged this caribou. Spent many a nights never touching never touching ground. So we'll have a quick look see at what's over here. So just in case I use usual I forget, I'll try and relay some directions into this place. You leave Williams Lake on Dog Creek Road, just past the, or right across from the school, there's a road to your right called Bond Lake. It's a dirt road, head up Bond Lake Road. Best directions you can get probably are to go to the shooting range, turn around, and then the very first road to your right, swing up it. And I'm not sure if the first left gets you up here or not. I, I went straight, and then I made a switch back right. And that brought me back to 
the fence along the shooting range. Anyway, you want to go up that fence, turn, uh, so if you followed my direction so far, another little cave. Quite a big cave. Upside down, what goes in that way? Goes in that way. Anyway, so you come up, you hit the fence, hang a left, and then the very first um, left again. And then you'll come to a fairly steep downhill. You'll want to maybe walk in the last couple hundred meters like I did. There's a trail here, so better follow it. Oh, must be just some motorbiking quad trail in here, see some motorbike tracks there. Let's proceed around this little hillside here, it's pretty cool. It'll be uh, wow, wow. Really neat to hear some explanations of this, because this is not man-made. Although in some places you'd sure, sure think it was. I'm watching where my feet go. This just keeps going. That's how close we are to the shooting range. Wow. Oh. Huh. Well, maybe this is where they just got tired of building the chilcote and caribou and piled up all the debris. Take a little pause here. What are you doing in the shot, Doug? So I was way up there. I'll we'll go my way down here, but it's really kind of nerve wracking to see the way these rocks are and are balanced and perched, and there's quite the cave in there. Goes in there quite a ways. The camera probably can't. Of course, I brought a flashlight, got out here, and the batteries are dead. Figures. Check your equipment before you leave home. Uh -huh. I don't know if I want to keep going around or just wiggle my way back up on some pretty precariously balanced rocks there. Well, come on. You can get down here. Of 
goes in there a little ways too. Can't really see the shadow, but. I think it's pretty much time to start going up. Oh, well, maybe not. Yeah, it almost looks like an old mine site or something. Look quite the hole in there I've never seen. Oh, that's those two big rocks that are doing a balancing act. Yeah, I don't know if this film will do any justice to what's here. It's incredible. I'm still working my way back up. Boy, oh boy. I could get a killer game of hide and seek going on here. Definitely no signs of, you know, this being man-made at all. You know, no mining, no streams, no... Well, if this isn't the right spot, I'm sure I will be corrected, but... Back to the shitty hole. Sure is a cold draft coming out of there. I do recommend coming out here with a buddy or couple of people unlike myself I don't think glassy would do me much good so it would be kind of neat to stick a head down in one of these holes but another point to consider is it's fall that means Smokey the bears should be sleeping by now but with our our weather you never can tell this is the trail leading back. <laughs> 